Hello and welcome back. On this lecture, we will learn log of change in database. Basically, we will learn logs, we will check logs of our commits. We in our local repository and a command to show the logs. Very simple. Git log. That's all. It, it will show you all the history since the beginning. If it's huge repository, like, you know, thousands of changes uh, was done here. So you will see the thousands of, you know, thousands of the changes here. So in, in our repository, we did three times. So first was initial commit. Next, we added file three, updated file, file one. And next, we fixed some bugs. By the way, you see author, my name, my email, your, my, your, you know from where it's taken. This is a commit uh, comment, which we always edit. And there's some commit hash number. Basically, this is a version in database, how it stored. Okay, if it's, if the list, this list is really long, so you can execute a git log minus and how many last commits you want to see. For example, I want to see like last two. You see, this is the last two. If it's also a lot, so minus one, just show me the last one. So this is the last one. Also, you can see logs in the short format. Git log dash dash one line. So it's basically given only the comment which you edit and also giving you short hash ID of the commit. Let's show the long hash. So you see this initial commit. This is a short one. This is a big one. Basically, it's taken first six, uh, how many, seven characters from it. You see this one from here. Yeah, that's it. Another way to show short, it's git uh, without a log, without a command log, but with command short log, <laughs> short log. And it's showing per user uh, his commits. So I did three commits and this is my commits. If there were more, was more, more users, you will see the another name and just which commit he did and something. Yeah, if you need, if you want to see more details, so log minus one, it's basically showing you the last commit, like ID of it and just comment. If you want to see exactly what changes was done. So this is minus P and uh, minus P it will show ex changes for all of the commits. So if we want to limit it minus one again, just show me the last one. And this is the last one, basically showing again all the same information we got and it's showing what what's the changes. So it's a little bit, yeah, maybe not super user friendly here, but yeah, this is. So this line was removed. This line was added. Uh, basically, it's a change in line. You remember, I just changed it. E -E I to in and place a dot. There's a new line. Another change was this file uh, removed, basically added to like null, basically null, null it. And this is the con was content of the uh, file. Not very user friendly, but just uh, so you so you will know. And again, if it was all, if you feel you could just git log minus p, it will show exactly the same for all commits, and it's a lot, a lot, a lot. It can be just you know huge. Just type q to uh, exit from here. Q. That's all. All right. This is uh, how you look logs in the uh, git database.